Hey everybody, one last video, 5 p.m. June 20th, Monday. Just wanted to show you a little end of day thing. And while it's quiet around here, they went visiting a neighbor like they do pretty much every night. But uh, the door guy came, really good. Fixed the problem once and for all. Let me show you. Uh, first of all, I'll show you the uh, beautiful evening. It's always really nice about this time of night. Not as hot. Sun's down, going down, cooling off, quiet, except for the video in the background. But yeah, he uh, he put another piece of uh, aluminum like he did on this side to fix that problem. Then he fixed this problem by putting this uh, this piece right here. This whole piece. He screwed it in. Then he siliconed both sides. I just don't know why he didn't do it in the first place. Would have saved me a lot of money. Like probably a thousand pesos on uh, weather stripping that I didn't need. Had to remove all that. The locking mechanism was a little tricky. He had to do a uh, Put some shimmies back here to make it come out a little bit this way, uh, so it would uh, so it would lock properly. But yeah, now no no gaps, no problems. I like I said, I, I just don't know why he didn't do it in the first place. But I love my blue glass. It's, it's uh, not considered reflective, even though uh, it does reflect a little bit. All glass does. But it's not like a mirrored finish like this is over here. This is definitely reflective. This is a brown tint. They put that in when I first built this house. Because I didn't even know they had blue. But I really like this blue. i got to get a little blue light for outside if I can find one. Uh, and then uh, probably going to paint, I don't know, maybe next week. We'll see. Because Grace is planning a trip to uh, Batangas. She has to do a few things there. Um, a few important things and then some other things not so important. But she wants to go. She hasn't been there since we moved uh, and she's going to take the kids and she's going to take a friend also to help her watch the kids on the long trip so oh that's what she wants to do let her do it I don't care they'll be out of my hair for a little bit <laughs> and Catherine won't have school so uh, I'll have some peace and quiet, just me and Jimmy, and I'll probably do the painting then when they're gone. She's saying maybe first week in July, who knows, we'll see. Of course I'll have to give her some money, she has nothing uh, for the trip. But um, she's also got to renew her Phil Health, and she's got to renew my health insurance uh, with the brand guy over there, because that's where I got my health insurance. So things like that, and uh, she'll get a few other things done, important things that we need to get done. Here, let's take a look at the low tide. Take a walk down the beach here. Very low tide right now. Very quiet, as I said, except for the vidjoki you might be hearing in the background. few people playing out here, a few kids playing by the corals. You can hang out like they're doing, just hang out by the coral reef. Over here you can see the kids hanging out here. That's 10 times zoom, that's as far as my camera gets. The newest Samsung gets like a hundred times zoom. 
but it costs way more <laughs> bucks. And then here's some people playing out here, just waiting. A couple girls. And then there's some people way out here. Like I said uh, many times before, you know, that's that's almost halfway that Carl goes. Well, maybe not quite, but it goes way out that way. Goes way out over here. That's why some people don't like this particular beach, too, though, because we have too much coral over here, which I don't blame them. Because if you look over on the other side, maybe it's not as much. And if you go way over here, which is uh, east, there there's not as much either, and the beach is less rocky that way. But it's nice and relaxing. Look back on the Kubos. Jimmy, uh, he sleeps in this one a lot now, or this one. I don't know why they got all the doors open. Maybe somebody was looking into them. <clears throat> but they need to close these doors. They told us it wouldn't get any book book. But you can see the dust. This dust. They said all oh, this bamboo doesn't get book book. Well I think they're mistaken. Because this dust here. This is book book. Book book. Which if you guys don't know. It's like a little, uh, kind of like a wood-eating animal. Sorry, I'm trying to get these doors closed. Why is this thing here? I don't know. They just put a rock here blocking, blocking the door. I don't know why these people do what they do. You can see what I'm doing. I'm just closing these doors. <clears throat> I don't know why they're keeping them open. It's not going to help the book book. And uh, animals can get in here. Now they got this tied. Now they got this tied here. Why? I don't know. I don't know why. So I'm going to take it off. And close the doors. <laughs> Sorry people. They got all these doors open for some reason. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to show you that door situation. And uh, hopefully tomorrow a Rilko. My brother thought I said Rocco. It's a Rilko, the electric company. It's supposed to come tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned. Let's see if they come. We'll finish up the uh, welding and get these lines moved. So make sure you like and subscribe. God bless everyone. Santa Claus over and out.